Aurelia Flores Torres y tengo 49 años. This is Berta Aurelia and she is 49 years old. Y mi sí. tiene 25. 25 años, se llama ¿Y tu nombre? Jonathan. And this is her son, Jonathan. He's 25 years old. He has a disability, um, FYI. She said um, his, his age in terms of like how he acts is more like a 12 year old. So he struggles to have a job. He is unable to work for their family and her money. Okay. <laughs> She said, we need this new house because look, you've seen um, the video, the pictures. This is what we're living in and it's just a rough situation. Also, her husband passed away about three months ago. So now it's just her working to support the two of them. But also you could see the house and how it's made of plywood and pallets and just some tarp for the roof. It's just really awful conditions um, for the extreme heat here and the extreme cold also when it gets below freezing. So I think we could definitely understand their needs. <laughs> she said it would really impact us in every way, physically and spiritually, just in every way, of course. She also just said a great uh, happiness and joy this new house would bring us. She said, I'm about to cry. Um, it'll be a great blessing from God to have this new house. Soy el pastor Gedeón Solís, eh, pastoreo la tercera iglesia del Nazareno en, aquí en Ciudad Juárez y por la gracia de Dios estamos trabajando en esta comunidad Juanita Luna y tenemos dos reuniones o dos centros de oración en este lugar. This is Pastor Gedeón Solís, he's the pastor of the Third Nazarene Church here in the city of Juárez. And he said, by the grace of God, we are working in this area of Juanita Luna, and we have two prayer meetings that meet weekly um, to gather people and to minister to them in this area, this part of town. Bueno, Berta ha asistido a la iglesia ahí conmigo, en la tercera iglesia, y ella me comentó de su necesidad. Vine, vi la condición en que vive, y veo que sí necesita so he said Berta has been attending his church for a while and then she talked about her need for a home then he came and visited here and saw her clear need for a home and then he chose her to receive this great help yo creo que el anhelo y el deseo de todo pastor es que cada familia que recibe una casa permanezca en la iglesia, se quede en la iglesia. Sí. Y yo espero eso de Berta y de Jonathan, uh -huh. que se afirmen uh -huh. completamente en la iglesia. Sí. Que uh -huh. no solamente reciban una casa, pero uh -huh. que reciban la bendición de Dios también. Sí, amén. So he said, I believe it's the goal of every pastor um, in this area and just in general that after receiving a home, that the family would strengthen their faith, that they would remain in the church and continue coming to church and always grow in their faith. So he said, I hope that for Bertha and her son, Jonathan, that they wouldn't just receive this house, but spiritually receive more and and grow in, the, in their faith and also grow with the body of believers.